The controversy around Sheriff Joe Arpaio and his treatment of illegal immigrants during his tenure never sizzled out. Now, President Trump has pardoned him, and the world is outraged, but do they have a right to feel that way? The short answer to this question seems to be a resounding no. The sheriff has stated that the reason he was arrested was due to a politically motivated witch hunt that was started by former President Obama, and Eric Holder. President Trump made it perfectly clear on Twitter why he was pardoning Arpaio. Trump's message reads, I am pleased to inform you that I have just granted a full pardon to 85-year-old American patriot Sheriff Joe Arpaio. He kept Arizona safe. In fact, Arpaio has promised to go public with the torments that he faced waiting for the trial with Obama and Holder. He has serious qualms about the way the investigation played out, and obviously, everything that happened before his pardon. According to Washington Examiner, Arpaio stated on Hannity, this goes back to the former president, and Eric Holder. Sixty days after they took office, they launched this investigation and here it is. When I was running for office, contempt of court, misdemeanor. They did it politically. The sheriff went on to explain that he believes that if they can go after him, they can and will go after anyone. I am going to go public and talk about the abuse of the political and justice system. RPEO's trouble started when U.S. District Judge, Susan Bolton, ruled that RPEO was found in criminal contempt because he failed to listen to another judge who ordered the stop of all traffic patrols that unfairly targeted illegal immigrants. He was found in civil contempt back in May. During an interview, Arpaio spoke about the things courts did wrong during his trial. The list is lengthy, and certainly shows that something was not quite right with his case. Arpaio is alleging to the fact that he was tried without a jury, and that they charged him with the charge. He explained that the list goes on and on but promised that, the truth will come out. It would not be a surprise to learn that there is something more sinister going on here with the former Obama administration. We have to remember, Obama's administration has been labeled the most lawless administration in our history. Would it be surprising to learn that the government that brought us Operation Fast and Furious used political power to put someone in prison? It isn't looking good especially when you look at the previous administration's track record, and hear what RPEO has to say. The National Center for Police Defense President, James Fortas, was not pleased with RPEO's conviction, either. In fact, he calls it the day that he lost faith in our justice system. Fortas provided an amazing point, one that needs to be considered before anyone gets upset over this pardon by President Trump. The president of the NCPD stated, I sat through three days of testimony and it was clear from the beginning that the DOJ had no evidence to make their case. He concluded, there is no way a jury would have determined that the sheriff willfully and intentionally violated the judge's order, 